my name is Kevin and I'll be your host for this episode of 4D Tutorials. Today, I'm going to introduce to you our embedded Sound Module 2 or SOMO 2 and how it works and how you can use it to your future projects. First, let's get a quick look on our little body here. The SOMO 2 is a compact module that measures 21mm long and 20.5mm wide. Here is a coin as a size comparison. The main feature of the SOMO 2 is its ability to play MP3 audio files that are stored inside the micro SD card. You can also hook up a USB 2.0 flash drive but it needs an extra component. All you need is a speaker and you're good to go. To be able to communicate and command this little guy right here, all we need to do is set up a UART serial communications and send out specific byte commands. I'll be showing you that in the code part of this video. But for now, let's hook up this SOMO2 module to the host controller to build this project. For this project, we are going to use the Arduino Arduino compatible module, our SOMO2 audio module, a 4 ohm speaker, a breadboard, a couple of jumper wires. Don't forget to review the connections using our datasheet. The SOMO2 datasheet can be downloaded in our website. First, let's connect the speakers to the SOMO2. Connect the UART TX and RX pins. And lastly, the supply lines. Once that's connected, let's move on to our codes. As I have discussed earlier, the SOMO2 uses UART serial byte commands to be able to perform its task. It uses a command format that is composed of start and end characters, command byte, feedback byte, two parameters, high and low bytes of the checksum, for a total of eight serial bytes. The code for this project uses the 4DGL win buttons that will demonstrate the sending and execution of serial bytes. Whenever the button is pressed, the bytes are sent out, commanding the SOMO2 to play the music file. The audio volume can also be controlled using the serial bytes. This process is executed in this part of the code using a slider widget. The feedback byte allows the user to receive serial acknowledgement from the SOMO2. In our code, a subroutine function named query track number will be sent to ask for the track number being played. After sending the query serial byte command, Another subroutine function named Receive Acknowledgement will receive the serial data bytes and save it into an array. So that's it for our SOMO2 audio module. You can create your own MP3 players or alarm clock using this module. Or you can even use it to your existing projects to improve its capability and design. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out for more videos.